What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel! Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video we are revealing two, not one, not one, but two brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics products. Now, I know I've been teasing these velour lip liners for a while as well as the brand new Supreme Frost highlighters, but today we are revealing all of the shades. We're gonna swatch everything, we're gonna talk about the formula, the price, the smell, the touch, everything. So, besides that, how the hell has everyone been, you guys? It has been a crazy year. I can't believe we're like a few months away from another year starting. I'm like, girl! So as you guys know, we are about to dive into holiday. Now most brands that are in retail have to launch holiday, of course, in September, but you know Jeffree Star Cosmetics is a little unique over here, so we're gonna be following the traditional calendar and I will be launching my entire holiday collection the first or second week of November. So stay tuned for that. We got new palettes, new Supreme Frost palettes. I know you haven't even seen the, the first ones yet, and there's already a palette. So there's a lot more coming, but Let's dive in to this reveal. All right, now I know I sneak peeked the product a few days ago, the packaging, everyone went crazy on the internet. And it's, you know, makeup takes a while to make. I wanted to do something really special for my lip liners. Now, a lot of people just do a standard cap, they call it a day. I wanted this to feel like a Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip liner. So, so we have over 16 shades launching, and the unit carton looks like this. It is very reminiscent of the standard liquid lip. Um, of course, it's a lot taller. It has the stars going down the box, of course. We have all the info. Now, the lip liners will be retailing for $16. They are cruelty-free, they're vegan, they're creamy, they are very pigmented, they are very soft, um, and they have extreme long wear, which we'll dive into in a second. So, here is what the box looks like. Now, as I said, there's over 16 shades, and they all coincide with liquid lips that I've made before. So you guys know this is the first initial launch, and then I will um, put out more colors later on in the future. But as you guys can see, here's a little sneak peek. We have Red Rum, Allegedly, Dominatrix, Unicorn Blood. We have some of the weird ones like Dirty Money, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Blue Velvet. And of course, I got so many requests when I said I was making lip liners. People were like, you have to make a black lip liner to match Weirdo Girl. You guys know, I always listen, and I took the feedback, and we made a really cool black lip liner. Now, a lot of people are saying, are they safe for the waterline? Well, guess what? I have nothing in my waterline today because we are gonna show you that yes, they are eye safe, just like my liquid lips. So, let's start swatching. Now, they all come very secure in this unit carton. I did mine upside down so you can still see the shade label. This is shade Calabasas. Now, when you take it out, it is stuck in place in the unit carton, very sturdy, so it really doesn't like, it doesn't really move around, so you're not gonna hear a lot of rattling. Now, when you take out the lip liner, <laughs> here is what it looks like, bam! Now, a lot of you have seen this all over the um, internet, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere, but here it is on camera for the first time ever, and I am so excited. Now, when I was creating this, I wanted it to be very, like, you know, I wanted it to be edgy, I wanted it to be very me, kind of like a royal chess piece meets I Dream of Genie, um, and it's very, like, hi, welcome back, back, back. How are ya? <laughs> it's very, like, wandy, and that's exactly what I wanted. And now, of course, the color caps are all like that on the end to coincide with the shade and here is the cap of course so when you take it off voila here is what the pencil looks like right away you're gonna see of course this is a standard pencil this is not one that you twist and it comes out i wanted something that was also going to be artist friendly for sanitization now i'm going to show you guys after i use this that you can use this of course with the sharpener i wanted this to be very user friendly um and so many of my artist friends who do makeup are like girl retractables are not sanitary they're harder to clean we love something that we can just sharpen and be on the go so that is why i created a sharpenable pencil First of all, I'm just going to swatch this on my hand for you guys. This is an unused one. You will see right here, one swipe coverage. Bam. That's it. You don't got to go over it a million times. This is a very long wear formula, so it can be a little drying when you prep your lips. Of course, lip balm is good. Use a Jeffree Star lip scrub, or any lip scrub for that matter, of course. Um, and they are really, really creamy. So that was literally one swipe. Let's go in a little bit more. So of course, you can see they are one swipe coverage, they're buildable, 
And girl, a lot comes off when you do that. So we're just gonna let this sit here for a second on my hand. All right, now you may go, Jeffrey, what is on your lips? I am wearing Celebrity Skin Velour Lip Liner with a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I'm sure you're like, Jeffrey, why aren't you wearing your own lip? We will show you a demonstration in a minute, but I want you guys to know that you don't obviously have to wear my lips with the lip liner. Any lipstick goes. Um, I hate when brands do that. You have to use this with this. I'm like, girl, you can do whatever the hell you want. So let me wipe this off and I'll be right back. All right, I just wiped off my lips and also I wanna show you guys, here is Calabasas, the swatch we did. Here is my clean finger. It's not gonna move, baby. All right, so let's do a little demonstration. I have Calabasas um, Velour Lip Liner right here. Let's bring out our star mirror. Now, a lot of people have been asking, where are the star mirrors? I just restocked a bunch of colors, so if you are looking for them, link in the bio. All right, here is Calabasas. Let's apply her. I love to just really outline the lip and accentuate it a little bit under here. And I kinda like to take it and just feather it up so you get kinda like that little ombre moment. And then we'll go in with the liquid lip momentarily. All right, now that it's applied, I'm gonna grab like the cheapest pencil sharpener I have. This is a little tiny guy. Um, I took the top off because I want you guys to see how this works. So all you gotta do, obviously you guys know how to sharpen a pencil, but um, in case you wanted to see it sharpen, all you gotta do, of course, is give it a turn once or twice, and then bam, she is resharpened. All right, let's get out Calabasas Liquid Lip, of course. Now, when I created these lip liners, I really wanted shades to match with my current line. It's crazy, my brand turns four years old this November, and it's just been such a whirlwind of such greatness, and I can't believe we are here where we are right now. And next year, I'm launching way more products. We are finally gonna be doing a full color story. This product took off so crazy, and it changed my life forever. So if you own any of my lipsticks, thank you for being a part of this crazy journey. Um, all right, let me stop burning my gums. Let's swatch Calabasas. Now you guys know I like to just fill in the lips and it will be on all day. And it's just that easy. Literally one dunk covered the entire mouth. If you're like, if you're someone that has a problem lining your lips with the doe foot, Lip liners are a savior, of course. So um, we're just gonna let this dry, but yeah, it was just that easy. So here's shade Calabasas. All right, the liquid lip and the liner have been on for about 30, 40 seconds. And girl, we are dry, we are ready to roll. Of course, there is nothing really on my finger. I'm like, not really. A tiny bit of the liquid lip you see right there, but this liner does not budge or move. Of course, if your lips get dry throughout the day or if you're someone that's like, girl, I'm a little uh, nervous about long wear products, just throw some lip balm right on top or a lip topper, a lip gloss, whatever you want. I'm just gonna demonstrate for fun. So this is the Anastasia Luna Lip Gloss. I love this one. Watch this, you just throw it right on top. Mm. I'm done. Hi, a whole new look. All right, I just quickly removed that. Now it's time to put on another shade. Um, all of these shades you guys have seen before on my website, I'm not gonna swatch 16 lip liners on my mouth. I know a lot of you are like, girl, why not? They are all shades you guys have seen before. I am gonna run down the line. I'm gonna throw up some pictures right now of some swatches um, after I do this. So you will see them on four different skin tones, but let me grab Celebrity Skin. Voila, let's apply Celebrity Skin. All right, now we're gonna apply this with a normal lipstick. I have been wearing this shade for the last year. I love Charlotte Tilbury, and this is in shade Kim KW. Um, I got this off of beautylish.com, which, hi, they sell my brand, so get into it. All right, so of course, you guys know how to apply a lipstick after lip liner, but let's do it. Ooh, perfect colors together. Now once the lipstick's on, of course, you can manipulate it with the liner if you want. Sometimes I like to just go like this, or of course, that works. Um, if you have any harsh edges or the lipstick covers the liner, you can go back in, and I just kind of like to flick it and feather it out. Hi, liner, how are you? 
Right, now before we move on to the next product, I do want to swatch a few more for you and I'll list off all the shades, but I'm going to throw up some swatches on four different skin tones. Here are all 17 shades. Bam! Right here. Now, as you can see, they look amazing on everyone. I am so proud and happy of how this product turned out. And of course, I'm going to throw up some images from the campaign. I had so much fun with this and uh, I, can't, I just can't wait for you guys all. I'm just so giddy. I just can't wait for you guys to play with these, to see them in person. Now, out of all 17 shades, of course, you know, we had to do some weird ones. So here is shade Dirty Money to match the liquid lip, which is so fun. And oh my God, we have to put these in the waterline too, by the way. You're not ready for that. Now, my favorite nude, I get asked this all the time in interviews, what is your favorite nude lipstick? Mannequin is my go-to from my own brand, and of course, we had to make a liner to match that. Hi, how are ya? All right, you guys, let's pop one in the waterline, and then let's go over all the shades. Now, I wanna do a fun one where you guys are gonna be like, whoa, we can actually see that. So I'm gonna pull out shade Anna Nicole here, and let's pop her in the eyes. Let's open her up. I need two hands for this. You guys know I have to pull down my waterline. So we're going to zoom in right here in this area. And I'm going to just pop this in right here. All right, there is Anna Nicole in the waterline. Wow, it actually took this look to like the next level. Now, if you saw the staying power on my hands, imagine it in your waterline, girl. It is not coming off. Ooh, this color looks so cool together. I'm all, I'm all giddy and excited. Now, of course, every shade is eye safe. There's no burning, there's no weirdness. If your eyes are very sensitive though, be careful. It is very long lasting. Now, let's go over all 17 shades. Now, we have shade Leo, we have Posh Spice, we have Scorpio, we have Red Rum, we have Mannequin, we have Calabasas, we have Blue Velvet, we also have Dirty Money, we have Anna Nicole, we have Allegedly, Dominatrix, Celebrity Skin, Unicorn Blood, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Weirdo, Doll Parts, Androgyny, Woo! That is a lot of shades. Now, I do wanna quickly open up Weirdo. It can be used as a black liner or, of course, a lip liner. So let's swatch that right. Sorry, my hand swatches I know are flops sometimes on my channel, but there is the black. It is pitch black like midnight. And for all my goths out there, you're gonna live for this. That is it for the Velour lip liners. I am so excited. Of course, everything in this video will be launching September 28th on my website and with all my retailers. So now the wait is almost over. Let's reveal the Supreme Frost. All right, you guys, let's talk about the Supreme Frost highlighters now. I wanna get this out of the way. I do, of course, have several highlighting products. You're probably like, Jeffrey, what is the difference between this and the new one? Now, of course, this is the original Skin Frost in a very massive pan. When I launched a highlighter, I wanted it to make an impact, and girl, bitch, it had people shook. It comes with a lot of product, probably more product than you ever need in your life. Most people don't hit pan. If you do, you might wear it every single day and I love that. Now, the difference between this and Supreme and Liquid, we of course will show you in one second, but this one is a standard highlighter, powder highlighter. Then of course, I came out with the Liquid Frost recently, which has been doing so well. Thank you guys for such the love and support on this baby. Now, a lot of people were laughing in the Trixie Mattel video because they were not sure how to actually use this, meaning how do you get the product out? You just slide this up, one, two, three, and of course you undo it and the product is now in here. A lot of people were just trying to like get it out and it's like, girl, you gotta go like this. Good morning. Then all of the product comes out and of course then you can do your magic and cover and coat your entire existence. This is also in shade Ice Queen. It has such a cool iridescent moment. Now, beauty lights. Let's talk about the lighting in here. They're not always the best for showing off highlighting. They don't show off the glimmer. So we're gonna dim the lights here in a minute. Now if you've never seen the Unicarton, Bam! The Supreme Frost come in this. Now I know you can't feel it through your phone or the screen, but this is a soft touch matte box, so it is very, just, just feels good to the touch. This formula was something I was working on in the lab for fun. I wasn't sure if it was ever gonna come out. I know I sneak peeked this a long time ago. We were putting it all over a model's body on set, and a lot of you were like, girl, what is the difference? Well, I wasn't sure if I was gonna come out with it yet, and I'm like, okay, we have a lot of highlighters. I came out with the liquid and I was like, should I do another one? 
It was already made. I made five shades. So I said, you know what? I want to test the waters and I want to see for all the people out there that really love to highlight, this is for you. Now, of course, in the future, I am going to really extend the shade range um, if you guys love the formula, but I kind of wanted to test the water. So we are launching only five shades with this. Now, of course, there is shades for everyone here, but we are going to go down the list here. And here are the five shade names. We have Snow Globe, Hypothermia, Frozen Peach, Money Honey, and Wet Dream. Of course, I am staying in tune to my sexual winter frozen ice vibes. Um, and let's open one up and let's see what's inside. All right, here is the Supreme Frost. Woo! -hoo! So here she is. It comes in this stunning baby pink chrome compact. And of course, you see the highlighter right through the, we'll call it the viewfinder, <laughs> the window, of course, to the compact. Now, when you open her up, Bam! There is the full pan, and it has, of course, the star logo with a bunch of little baby stars in there. If you can see it in the light, I am going to do some different light tests here so you can see it better. But here she is! So here is shade Hypothermia. This is so stunning. It has like this crazy brown blue, like almost duochrome, but it has this crazy new pearl that my lab has been working on, and it's blinding. Like these are so blinding. So what is the difference between the Skin Frost and the Supreme? Now, the Supreme Frost may look a little smaller, but it has a beautiful finish that is like, oh, it's like a glitter gel hybrid. So this doesn't actually have a pan underneath. It is a gel hybrid that is baked in Italy. This is my first product that was made overseas um, as well as the lip liners. So when I started to create this, I fell in love with how it performs. Now let me just take my clean finger. We're gonna go over this once and twice. And here is what it looks like. You see how reflective and wet that looks? Oh my God. Now I am gonna of course put this right here. Now in this light, you may be like, Jeffrey, I don't know if I can see, oh, oh no, you can see that it's very blinding. So we're gonna dim one of the lights down right now and we're just gonna see if you can even see it better than what it is. All right, so there it is with one of the lights dimmed down. You see the reflection. It's still not giving it like, holy shit, how it looks like in real life. So I am gonna apply one in a minute and show you guys, but there is the first shade. Now the second shade, which I am dying for, is called Money Honey. It is this beautiful iridescent gold green based alien undertone and it is probably my favorite shade from this collection. Now let's just do a little one, two. Now there is what that shade looks like. Ooh, yes. I am going to put that on my hand right here, right next to it. Bam, and there is money, honey. Woo! Now, you can apply this really with your finger, which I know that might shock you because a lot of you are like, Jeffrey, you don't really apply makeup with your fingers. If you want real full intensity, let's just do it right now. I like to just tap it with my fingers, go right on the high planes of my cheeks, of course, and just place it right there. Ooh, there you can really see the green undertone. Sometimes in the pan or with the lighting, it's a little hard to see, but as you see, just take your finger and all you gotta do is place it like that. I'm gonna go overboard because I'm a highlighting whore. Bam, that is it. It is very reflective. It has like this just really reflective shininess to it. Now, let's talk about the price. These are a few dollars more than the Skin Frost and the Supreme Frost will be retailing for $32. And I'm sure a few of you are like, yeah. Why is this more than the than the Skin Frost? Let me tell you, this has a very expensive ingredient in the formula. It is a Korean glass pearl. Not pearls from the ocean, but a man-made pearl. It just has more expensive ingredients. That's really what it is, and it's just the way that it applies. It's very easy, and it just has that extra, like, oh, wet moment to it. Wow, this looks stunning. Now, I am gonna show you, this is a little Anastasia highlighting brush. Let's take it with this. And a little goes a long way. So you see that? That's all you need. Now let's go above the brow bone. Ooh, see that? I barely, barely touch the skin and it is just like a mirror. Now, if you are someone that's like, girl, that's too much highlight. Well, first of all, why are you watching my channel? Secondly, here's a, here's a tip. Take a damp beauty sponge and just press it into the skin and it will kind of dull it down if you want that effect and it really just kind of presses it in there. Ooh, I love how that looks. Let's move on to the third shade, 
which is Frozen Peach. Now, I know I just showed you two blinding shades. This one is the more, we'll say dull, but we'll use the word dull very loosely here. It is the probably the least blinding one. All of the other ones have the same base. I wanted one that was a little more dim for the people that are like, we don't want to be looking like Lighthouse's queen. So let me take my clean finger. And let's just go over this. Oh, hi honey, how are you? This one is really pretty. And it has a, of course, peach undertone. I'm just gonna swipe this right here. But it's not gonna really read that well on my beauty lights because of the way it is. But that is a little more of like a dulled down version. Now the next shade is called Wet Dream. It is the perfect medium gold blinding color. And oh, hi honey. <laughs> I just I, I live for this shade now. I've been wearing this a lot secretly people don't know that I've been wearing it But if you've seen me on Instagram lately, and I have this weird highlighter on girl It's this one now this has very reflective pearls in it, and you can see it is blinding now the fifth shade I know it may look a little similar in the pan, but it is very different on the skin It is called snow globe, and it is very like winter wonderland. It is a lighter version of wet dream. Now I am going to take this oh, right here and let's swatch it right there. Bam! All right, now I'll show you these swatches in the low light in a minute, but I am gonna apply shade wet dream right here on the other side of the face. This is a Morphe 510. I'm just gonna do a little, literally, ready for this guys? That's all you need. All right, got my hair out of the way and I dipped into shade wet dream and here it is on the skin. There she is. And now we're about to dim one of the lights in the beauty room. I may look a little crazy. <gasps> oh, there's money, honey. I was like, how do we show off the real tone of this highlighter? Look at that. Also on my hands, everyone, here are the other shades. There's hyperthermia. There is money, honey. And the middle one got kind of messed up, I think, from me holding the mirror. I am so sorry. I do want to show these off in the low light. There is hypothermia. Here is frozen peach. It is a little more, of course, um, dim than the other ones, but she is so pretty. Look at that. Mm. Now, I think you guys get the gist of it. Let's return back on the lights. All right. Um, I also want to do a little experiment where we shut off all the lights, and I'm going to show you guys how these look like with just like an iPhone flash. And I want you to see how this looks in complete darkness. All right, now I'm gonna turn on the flashlight on my iPhone and put it directly on my cheeks so here you guys can see the full effect of how it looks. It's very glittery, it's very blinding, and girl, it is stunning. Now here is, of course, the highlighter, and there it is. Good morning, money honey. Here is hyperthermia. Here is frozen peach. Now I wanna show you the difference and hold these up. Here is Snow Globe, and then here is, I'm gonna try to do all three of these. Oh my God, where's Nate when you need him? Help! So here's all of the gold tones. As you can see, they are very different. This one is a lot darker, that one is lighter, and then the one in the back, good morning. All right, now let's turn on all the lights. All right, you guys, there is the reveal for the Velour Lip Liners and the Supreme Frost Highlighters. What do you guys think? I keep looking in the monitor and I'm just like, oh my god, this has been such a hard secret to keep. I've been wearing this on and off a little secretly and it's been so hard because a lot of people have been like, what have you been wearing? Well, the secret is finally out and Supreme Frost will be coming out uh, momentarily. Oh, I'm so happy and proud of these, you guys. I hope you love them as much as I enjoyed creating them. Of course, sound off below. What is your favorite shades? What are you excited for? Um, and just give me your honest feedback like you guys always do. All right, you guys, here is the tea one last time. Both products are launching September 28th. If you're watching in the future, girl, they're here. Of course, we have five Supreme Frost highlighters retailing for $32. And these, of course, are vegan. They're cruelty-free. Um, and they are amazing. Also, of course, we have the Velour Lip Liners, which we just swatched a bunch of them in 17 shades, retailing for $16. Everything will be launching on Jeffree Star Cosmetics, of course, and all of my retailers. So, who's ready? Thank you so much for watching another reveal. I am so excited for the future. We have so much more coming. And the Jeffree Star Foundation, next year, buckle in. All right, you guys, bam! See ya.